Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is not a review. It's kind of a catch up really because lots of you have been in touch. Thank you so much for your support. Um, it is a really lovely community, I think, from this channel and my online course, onlinemagic.co. Um, I get so much support when I kind of disappear. I'm disappeared. I've been putting stuff out, but it's, it's lovely anyway. So I thought I'd make this video because the podcast hasn't been happening. And people have been saying, is there going to be another one? Um, there is, don't worry. What's happened is, I think every now and then in magic or whatever you do, you have to kind of retreat a little bit. I don't mean socially, even though I do that anyway. I kind of might as well live in a cave, to be honest. But you, you, you find that you're not working on the things you, you want to work on. You're trying to firefight and, and keep up with everything and keep up with the messages. And, and that's really important to me. But you end up kind of not moving forward. And there's a couple of things I wanted to kind of geek out on and, and kind of hide away and work on. One of them was looking at the course and doing some filming for the course. There's another course that I've made, which is another project. I had a couple of deadlines there. There's working on my performances. But also, and this is what I'm getting to, I'm going to make a series of videos, not instead of the reviews I make. So I've got loads of stuff to review here, way too much. So this isn't instead of, but I'm going to delve back into... And some of you are going to go, yay. Some of you are going to go, oh, God, don't switch off. Is tech. Phone magic, app magic, magic using tech. The reason for this is that, and I don't know what to call them yet. I might call them, um, oh, God, shut up. I might call them uh, the program, getting with the program or something like that. <laughs> I'm terrible at that sort of thing. Let, let me know what you think. Comments below. Series of, of magic about app, apps and tech. And the reason is because I went out for it and I was like no I'm a sleight of hand magician which I still see myself as and I wouldn't go near apps and then I was thinking I closed a show with The Stranger and Wiki Test, and I've used these for such success why have I all of a sudden gone out oh, it's not for me and I realized what it was was almost a feeling of fear and vulnerability it was because there were so many updates 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 and I couldn't keep up with it with all the reviews of of, of, I was doing and I sort of told myself oh yeah I don't need them and I don't nobody needs any any of this stuff but I thought I don't need them I, that's not part of my thing and then I went to Blackpool saw Sam Dixon's pads spoke to Jonathan Levitt you know looked at the acronym guys and again speaking to Mark Kirsten very briefly sort of more online and and realizing how important this stuff is to know about for magic not necessarily to perform you might not want to perform it but i think if you're a magician it's getting to a point now where if you just completely avoid apps and tech you're kind of blocking your all knowledge away from a certain part of the market and even if it's not your style you might get an opportunity and go oh god if i use that for that that would be incredible and i think the the responses you get from it the even if it doesn't fit your style i think to know about it is a really important thing it's here to stay it's getting bigger and bigger and better and better and importantly, more reliable. Now, reliability was the thing that I always got really scared about. And that vulnerability was a little too much for me. I just felt I can't do that. I had a couple of things that happened on stage, mostly user error and not having backups and things like that. And that can happen with anything, like I've said before. But going back into it, it's the game is changing a little bit. It's becoming more reliable. There are things built into all tech, not just apps, as backups, as things to do if things go wrong, if you haven't got an internet connection, all that thing. And I have, since going back to it, had the best time. Again, not replacing anything. A lot of the times in informal situations, I did a show the other day and it was my show, my cups and balls. And at the end, I just look, can I just try something? And I did a thing with the Audience Wonderland pad that there's the review coming out of uh, at time of recording tomorrow, I think. And I've just been enjoying it so much. It really adds a different dynamic to the show and kind of takes it away from one thing. And then you can go back to another and it gives it a rhythm that I'm really enjoying. And of course, as I said, for informal performances going out and about yesterday, Quite a funny thing happened. I did a bit of video for the Lumen Trilogy, and then afterwards they said, oh, we get some more people to come and have a look. I didn't know these people. They were in a local restaurant. I never go in and perform in, really. And they go, and I, was, I didn't know what to do. I had nothing. And I did wiki test. I hadn't done wiki test in a while. And I, I was, I did it, I, I would describe accurately as badly, really bad. They had the phone. I was looking at my phone before I even did it, because I was trying to remind myself, you know, what way I did it with the calculator or the... 
Anyway, I did it really badly. They were completely flawed. And it made me think this is proper everyday carry stuff. Even if you've got nothing, you can create miracles. Now, a lot of it is expensive. A lot of it isn't. Uh, so there are things we can do that don't require going and spending a grand. So I've just lost myself in this down a rabbit hole, a really enjoyable and sometimes frustrating rabbit hole for a couple of weeks now. And I'm talking hours and hours and hours every day, really familiarizing myself with the way these things go together and work together. And what I'm going to do is create videos, not as necessarily as reviews. Some of them will be. Obviously, I'll tell, say what I think. But just so we can all get up to speed with what it is we do like and don't want. And we can make an informed decision. And some of you, I think, will go, oh, yeah, I could use that. That's great. And some of you will say, no, actually, no, it's not for me. And that's great. But at least we're in the conversation and we've got that ability to make an informed decision. I think it's a huge part of magic. I think it's an exciting part of magic. And it's a little bit like video games, I think. You know, video games used to be for a certain type of people. And now I think anybody that says I don't like video games, I just kind of think, because well, you haven't played the type that you like. There are board games on video games. There are communi community games. There are all sorts of things. It's not just a thing now that appeals to a, one type of person, the same with music. And I think if you're a magician, there'll be something, even if you don't get into performing it, that you'll get from watching the videos. So... Again, I'll be looking at the apps, the different things, the tech, but also the way they work together. Um, and I think some of you are going to have some surprises. It is a really exciting time for magic. And a lot of it blends super well with sleight of hand magic, which I love as well. You know, looking at things like Astral, you know, Henry Harris's Mark Kersey's new app. So easy, so exciting. It takes it away from that thing of just being an app. And even if someone said, oh, it's an app, it doesn't matter. It's like someone saying sleight of hand, they're still gonna have no clue because they know that apps can't read their mind, right? Or make things appear. So uh, yes, I'll stop waffling now. Thank you for your support. Uh, do check out onlinemagic.co, of course. And for those of you who stayed to the end, well done. <laughs> it's been a right old waffle. More reviews to come, maybe more live sessions. And, uh, and please like and subscribe and do like my Instagram. Lots of stories going up, which is at Steve Faulkner. Take care. See you later. Give me a comment below and say hello.